Roman Reigns has just defended his undisputed championship against Cody Rhodes. Reigns is done with the bloodline. He's out on his own and he's as dominant as ever. But Reigns had hold of Cody Rhodes' tights to pick up the win. Reigns is celebrating though in typical fashion when a figure appears from the crowd. The crowd rises around him. They're trying to see who's under the hood. He slides into the ring. Rhodes is now up and Reigns is also looking on curiously. The man removes the mask that's none other than John Moxley. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Moxley is looking directly at Reigns. Rhodes is shocked. He looks like he's seen a ghost because he has. Moxley then spins around and nails Cody with a paradigm shift. And Moxley walks off through the crowd again. Reigns is just left there watching him leave and the wrestling world has been turned on its head. It's the next night on Raw and the WWE Universe is buzzing. The re-emergence of Moxley has everyone talking but no one is more excited than Seth Rollins. Rollins is telling whoever will listen backstage that his friend is back. He comes out to the ring and he's as jovial as ever. He says proudly, my friend John is back home. I couldn't be any more excited. I can't wait to meet up with him again. In fact, John, if you're here right now listening, please come out and say hello to your old buddy Seth. There's no sign of Moxley, but we do get an appearance from Rhodes, who says to Rollins that Moxley can't be trusted. He says, trust me, I've dealt with him as his boss and as his peer. You can't trust this guy. In fact, you shouldn't. Just like he shouldn't trust you. Then in the crowd, Moxley appears again. Rhodes calls out to him and says, Hey John, it's so nice to see you again. Now how about you come here and try and do what you did last night? Only this time, I'll be ready. Moxley says nothing from the crowd. But Rawlins interjects, he says, John, my buddy! It's so great, you're home, come on down! Join me! We could whoop Cody's ass together if you want, just like old times! Moxley walks off. He's seen enough. Still hasn't said a word. Later in the week on SmackDown, Reigns is asked about the developments and the fact that Adam Pearce has given Cody another crack at the title at Clash at the Castle. Pearce said that because he cheated to win, Cody deserves another shot. Reigns doesn't mind though. He accepts the challenge, and he accepts the stipulation that Cody put forth that it be a no DQ match. But just as Reigns has finished his sentence, we see Moxley come into frame. Reigns looks at him, and then he looks at the camera, and he says, turn off that camera. We're now back on Raw, and Seth Rollins is insanely upbeat again. He's still so excited that his friend John is back. And Seth is out here for the main event against Cody Rhodes. He mentions that we're on the road to the giant event known as Clash at the Castle. And he has a very special surprise for everyone in Wales and all over the world who'll be watching. But I can't tell you yet. It's a surprise. The match is underway. Rawlins and Rhodes are delivering as usual. When again, from the crowd, we see John Moxley appear. Rhodes sees him and immediately goes to the outside of the ring to get in his face. He still owes him a receipt from that paradigm shift, but Rollins nails him with a dive. Rhodes then gets thrown back into the ring, nailed with a curb stomp, and pinned by Seth Rollins. The question is though, was this deliberate? Did Moxley know exactly what he was doing? After the match, Rollins is inviting him back in the ring. He says, come on, just like old times. I know you want to, John, come on. Moxley doesn't say anything again, and he walks away. It's Rhodes versus Reigns, the main event of Clash at the Castle, and this time, it's no DQ. Rhodes and Reigns are having the fight of their lives, but again, Moxley appears from the crowd. Rhodes is stopped in his tracks yet again. He's looking at Moxley, and then he looks behind him, and Reigns is also there. So now he's caught between the two. Rhodes says, I see how this is. I get it. It's a nice little reunion, right? We then hear the voice of Seth Rollins, and he says, surprise, Cody. Rollins nails Rhodes. He 
throws him into the ring. Reigns goes under the ring, grabs a table, and then sets it up inside. The three are working together. Reigns lifts up Rhodes and drives him through the table. And this looks scarily familiar. Rawlins and Moxley leave the ring and the referee makes the count. Reigns has retained again and it seems as though the Hounds of Justice are back in town. Raw the next night kicks off with the three men standing in the ring. It's now that we hear from Moxley. He says that, I know I didn't leave this place on the best of terms last time, but now I'm back on my terms. And I'm going to do things my way. I want to run this place properly. So here I am, running this place again next to these two. And it's just like old times. Cody is here. He says, first of all, Seth, you're in the ring with two guys you screwed over in the most spectacular fashion, almost in the entire history of wrestling. So let's see how that goes for you. And Roman, that's two times now you've screwed me out of that title. And we're gonna see how that goes for you. And John, you're running this place now, huh? <laughs> I ran a place once, funnily enough, the one you just left. But that's all right, hey. You've got your friends, but I've got mine. See, just like you guys, us three have a bit of history as well. We've never really been in the same place at the same time, but we are now, and none of us particularly like you. So here's our proposition for you. Three versus three, Survivor Series. One pinfall or submission, and this isn't for titles. I've lost twice, I get it. This isn't even for honor. You guys threw that out the window. We want to fight for blood. Moxley immediately agrees. Reigns and Rollins do too, and the match is made official. It'll be three versus three. Survivor Series, an all-out grudge match. Styles, Balor, and Rhodes versus The Shield. Time for the massive six-man match. Balor, Cody, and Styles are in the ring waiting, and we hear the infamous music. Just before the match gets underway, Seth Rollins has a few cocky words for Cody. He says, it looks like the Shield's gonna live forever, huh, Cody? I guess this is the real revolution. As the match wears on, as you'd expect, it's an incredible battle. Styles is on fire, nailing phenomenal forearms. Balor is on fire as well. He's nailing 1916s. And as we get towards the finish of this fight, Balor is down and out. Styles is now down and out, but Moxley is also down too. Cody is now left two on one with Reigns and Rawlins. Cody knows his fate. He realizes that he's in deep trouble, but he fights on. Eventually, we get to a double down situation. Cody is alone, but Rawlins has an option on the apron. Or so he thought. As Rawlins crawls over for the tag, Reigns drops off the apron. What is he doing? Rollins gets up. He's confused. He's asking Reigns what the hell is going on. Reigns just stares at him. And Rhodes has rolled to the outside of the ring in damage control. But as he rolls out, Moxley slides in with a chair. Moxley has dropped Rollins. The whole stadium is stunned. 
Reigns watches on as Moxley stands over Rollins, just like Rollins did to Moxley and Reigns. Moxley says, just like old times, huh, Seth? Rollins is out. Reigns walks off up the ramp. Moxley follows him. Rhodes recovers and picks up the win. As quick as the shield was brought back together, it's ended. But was this always the intention? That's what questions on everybody's mind. We're now closing in on the Royal Rumble and all the questions are flying around. Was this a plan hatched by Reigns and Moxley all those weeks ago when they had that conversation when they shut the cameras off? Several interviewers attempted to get an answer to these questions, but both men would not speak. Rawlins has also come unhinged as well. He's as crazed as ever, and he's assaulting random people backstage in his pursuit of answers as well. And we're on Raw, just two weeks out from the Royal Rumble, and Reigns now has an opponent for his championship. It's Randy Orton. Orton and Riddle have parted ways mutually as a tag team, so Orton can chase his 17th World Championship. It's at the same time that this match is made official that something else is made official. John Moxley is in the Royal Rumble match itself. Rollins has also been confirmed. In a brief interaction between the two that was caught candidly backstage, we overhear the reason why Moxley and Reigns left Rollins in the dust. Moxley says to Reigns, you were always real with me. He stabbed us in the back, but we were always boys. I've never trusted that little rat since he did that, and I never will again. And Reigns agrees. He says, I hear that. I'm with you. And look, I get it. You're in the Royal Rumble. I'm going to beat Randy. I'm going to retain. And if you win the Royal Rumble, we'll go to WrestleMania and we'll handle it like men. Reigns and Orton are in the middle of a classic encounter. Orton has tried and failed for several RKOs. Reigns has tried and failed for several Spears. But then, as many predicted, Rawlins is here to try and get involved. He runs down the ramp and he's making a beeline for Reigns. He's pissed, but he doesn't even make it. Boom! Moxley cleans him out. And then the two start brawling before the Royal Rumble match has even started, which is taking place later in the night. Rawlins and Moxley fight off into the crowd and Reigns focuses back on Orton. Orton looks for an RKO, but no, he's denied again. And then Reigns finally nails him with a spear for the win. Reigns has retained just like he said he would. Rawlins and Moxley are off somewhere in the building, having to be separated by security, and we move on to the Royal Rumble match itself. And we are down to three. Rawlins, Moxley, and Finn Balor. The three men have been in since early in the match, and now Rawlins turns to Moxley and he says, John, we go way back. We fought this guy for weeks. Come on, the Hounds of Justice. We're brothers in arms. And brothers fight, right? But they also make up. Moxley looks at Rawlins. He walks over and it looks as though he's going to attack Bala, but then he turns. He's sided with Finn. And they're going to double team Rawlins and then fight each other for the win. But no, Bala isn't there for anyone but himself. He throws Moxley over the top rope, but he hangs on. He's on the apron. Bala then gets taken out by Rawlins, who has taken his chance. He launches Bala over the top rope, and Moxley is still on the apron. Rawlins rushes him. He tries to eliminate him, but no. Rawlins nails Moxley with a big shot, but Moxley bounces back in classic fashion, and he runs at Rawlins. Unbelievably, Moxley and Rawlins have both hit the floor at the same time. These two don't even stop to hear the result, though. They brawl off up the ramp. It is out of control. And then as they reach the top of the ramp, boom! Reigns nails Rollins with a spear, ending the brawl. Moxley looks on. Reigns realizes now as the announcement comes over the stadium. Both Rollins and Moxley have won the Royal Rumble. It's a draw. Both men are facing Reigns at WrestleMania. The road to WrestleMania is tense. You have the respect between Reigns and Moxley, the chaotic nature of an even more unhinged Seth Rollins. And just two weeks out from WrestleMania, 
John Moxley is in a match on Raw against Balor. And Finn manages to send Moxley outside and Balor is looking for a dive. That is until he sees Rollins creep up behind Moxley. He nails Moxley with the chair and this match is stopped. Rollins is continually smashing Moxley with the chair. Balor gets out of there. He knows that this is not his fight right now. But a man whose fight it is, is Roman Reigns. Reigns comes down to the aid of Moxley and Rawlins bails out of the way. Reigns is there now and he picks up Moxley. But Moxley doesn't realize who it is and he shoves Reigns to the ground. Reigns pops straight back up and he says, are you serious? And Moxley who is still rock says, I didn't know it was you, but if you want to make something of it, we can. And Reigns looks at him and there's tension all around. It all comes to a head on the go home edition of Raw. The final word goes to Moxley. He says, I've had some pretty serious battles in and out of the ring. Hell, it was even a battle within my mind whether I wanted to come back here, but now I see clearly it was all for a reason. It was all for this reason, to come back and right the wrongs. And I don't mean righting the wrongs like putting me in a gas mask and getting fake needles in my ass. No, I don't mean that. I mean righting the wrongs between the three of us. Seth blew it up. He broke the brotherhood. And that has sat like a rotting seed in my stomach for years. Roman, I respect. Roman is my true brother. But Seth said it best at the Royal Rumble. Sometimes brothers fight and at WrestleMania, the world will bear witness to three men who will stop at nothing to stop each other. But me, I'm willing to die for this. I didn't come back to the WWE to sports entertain. I came back to run this place, so don't believe in the shield, but believe that I will die on that shield. The shield triple threat for all the marbles. Finally, a stage befitting this stunning finale for these three men, and they have given everything. Reigns is struggling to his feet. Rawlins is stalking him with a chair. Rawlins is about to nail Reigns yet again. But from the side, Moxley takes out Rawlins. He knocks the chair free and nails Rawlins with a paradigm shift. This is it. Moxley has him. But no! Reigns nails Moxley with a spear. One, two, no! Moxley somehow summons the strength to kick out. And Reigns can't believe it. He's pacing around. We've never seen Reigns this rattled. He goes to the corner once more. He can't let this slip. He runs for another spear, but Moxley counters. Reigns is in deep trouble. Moxley nails a paradigm shift. Moxley has done it. Moxley has returned to WWE. He's gone to war with his former Shield brothers and he's come out on top. He's back on top of the mountain in WWE. He's reached the pinnacle again. And you can believe that.